This video shows you how to install and set the soft close mechanism on the CS soft stop cavity slider. First we'll do a single action soft close, then later on a twin soft open and soft close. Make sure you are watching the right method for the model that you have chosen, as the process is slightly different. The soft stop components are supplied in a box along with your track or cavity slider. These include the soft stop mechanism and carriages, the activator setting tube, carriage adjustment spanner, allen key and instructions. You will also need a Phillips screwdriver to secure the carriage to the cassette. First remove the activator from the cassette. Use the screwdriver to remove the carriage from the cassette. Keep the machine screw. You don't need to charge the cassette before you install it. This will be done later once it's in the track. First insert the rear carriage into the notched end of the track. The rear carriage is the one with no tow bar. Insert the cassette into the track dolly wheel first. Make sure the pickup mechanism is facing up into the track so it will come into contact with the activator. Insert the front carriage into the track and fix it to the cassette with the machine screw. Attach your door to the carriages. Insert the activator into the track with the grub screws facing down towards you. Slide it along about halfway into the door opening. Tighten one of the grub screws. You now need to charge the soft stop mechanism. Gently slide the door closed. You will hear a click as the soft stop charges. Open the door and loosen the grub screw. Hold the activator positioning tool in the closing jam or the wall where the door closes onto. This needs to be the finished wall, so if you have no closing jam and you still need to allow for wall linings, use a packer to make sure that you're adjusting it properly. Now slowly close the door so that the activator moves along the track into the correct position. Carefully open the door so that the activator stays where it is and then tighten all four grub screws. The activator is now positioned in the right place. 